Hi, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to make a platformer game and we're going to make a little guy and it's going to take um, several hours, but we'll start with just the first video where we make a person who can jump and walk left and walk right. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to gdevelopapp.com and to go here, you can download it. And if you have a Macintosh computer or a Windows computer, you can download it. But if you have a Chromebook um, and perhaps even just for uh, today to get started, we're gonna select try it online. So select the try it online and we're gonna use the free 100% free version of it. And it's going to tell us here, you know, you can download it, et cetera. But we're going to start with just um, doing the online version. So just close this off. And this is gdevelop. Welcome to gdevelop. So in here, um, if we look at the top left-hand corner, um, that's where our sort of control panel is and our start page. And we can start by um, creating a new project. So we're going to click here, create a new project. And what we want to make is uh, we're going to make an empty game from scratch. So we're going to uh, work on uh, making our own. And um, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to have a scene. And so I'm going to um, create a scene. So I'm going to click on the button here. And I'm going to call this scene um, game. So it's called new scene here. I, I want to edit that. So to get back, I need to go to my project manager and I go to scene. Oops. I click project manager and I want to rename that and I want to call it game. Okay. So now if we, um, Take a look at our project. We have our scene, and uh, which is our called game. And what I want to do next is I want to create a object. So here you can see here's our scene, and there's not really anything yet because we have just started. So our Blake, uh, our canvas, and over here on the right hand side you can see it lists the objects. And so what I want to do is I want to create a new object. So I'm going to click here and say, create a new object. And what I want to create is a sprite. And so I'm going to select sprite and I'm going to call this sprite player. Super. So now I've got a sprite and I want to create a, um, uh, sprite for this. Now, because we're doing the online version, we can't upload uh, graphics to it. But if you download the uh, desktop version, we're going to add custom graphics. But for now, I'll just uh, click on player and I'll click add an animation. Great. So here we are in animation zero of player. So we've, we've done multi animations before in, in one image. And so what I want to do is I want to add uh, a frame for the player standing still. And so I'm going to click here where it says add. And as I said, if we had uh, the desktop app, we could actually add our own custom graphics. But as it is, we're limited to what we have here. So animation zero is going to be player one standing still. Okay, so animation zero, player one standing still. And I can click apply, even though I haven't uh, really done much, and I can drag and put the player on the screen. And let me show you a little bit more about what we have going on here. So here's our, our scene, which is our game. We've got a player, and if I press play, it'll open up a new window, and you can see there's a player. Doesn't do too much, it's not even moving, it's just a picture. Okay, but you get the idea. There's player and the player is on the screen. 
Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to edit the player and I want to make uh, another frame in which he's animated. So to do that, I'm going to go here and I'm going to go edit the object player. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another uh, animation. So I click here where it says add animation. And I'm going to add another um, animation. This time, I want to add multiple animations to my animation sequence number one. Um, so I could call animation zero uh, player uh, stopped. And then I could call this one player moving. And I'm going to keep adding uh, player one walk zero one, player one walk zero two, player one, uh, three, and, and I'm going to do this all the way till I get to player one walking four, uh, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, just three more to go, nine, Great, and there we go. And if I want to preview it, I can select preview and you can see there he is uh, moving. Now he stopped after one cycle. So um, what I'm gonna need to also do here is I need to put a check mark where it says loop. So right here, it says loop and now I'll preview and you'll see he will continuously walk uh, through this. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to uh, make a platform for this guy to stand on. So, so far I don't have any behaviors for my player, but that's okay. Uh, we'll get to that uh, soon enough. So I'm just going to click apply and now my player has the two sets of anim animations. So the next thing I want to do is create another object. And this next object is going to be the ground. And the ground is not um, a sprite, it's going to be a tiled sprite. And the reason a tiled sprite is different from sprite is because with a tile sprite, it repeats over an area. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna call this uh, next object the ground, and I'm gonna select an image, and I'm gonna choose again from the library. And if we look here, we've got the uh, grass, Perfect. It's a 32 by 32 sprite, and I can go apply. And when I put it on the, the room here, um, oh, sorry, before I put it on the room, uh, what I want to do is I want to turn on my grid. And we've used the grid before in other games here. So I'm, I'm going to show the grid, and I could set the grid up and make it a 32 by 32. And the reason I did a 32 by 32, it's very common in program that we we tend to do 32 by 32, but uh, the reason um, I do 32 by 32 is that was the size of the sprite that they gave us. Okay, so now when I put the ground in here, let me just uh, put the ground down a bit here. Um, you'll notice if it's 32 by 32, but because this was a tiled sprite, what I can do is I can drag and I can give it the um uh it'll keep repeating so you'll see that a tiled sprite will keep repeating if you make it larger watch what happens here if i go and i make this guy larger it just makes him fatter right where a tiled sprite is going to be different that way so we've got two objects now what i do is i have a object of ground and an object of a player perfect um and let's now um, make the object more like a um, platform game. So I'm going to go back to the player object. And before, we were just looking at the properties of the sprites of player stopped and player moving for animation 0 and animation 1. But I want to select the behaviors. And I want to add a 
behavior to the player object. So I'm going to click on here to add a behavior. And I'm going to say that this is a platform character. My player is a platform character. And so what you'll see in here is different properties that we can set. So we can set the gravity, the jump speed, the maximum falling speed, and so forth. For now, we're just going to leave it as a default, but you'll see that those are all options uh, that are available. And so I'm going to just apply that to the uh, player. And so the player now is um, a platformer. He's got gravity. And so if I press play here, I'll just give you a, a brief demo. But when I press play, you'll see he's got gravity. He keeps falling through. And so um, and away he goes. And so what I want to do next here is I want to change what's going to happen. I want the player so he's going to hit the um, ground and stop moving. So let's go to that and I'll go to ground. And when I go to the ground, I'm going to edit uh, that object. And again, I'm going to select the behaviors uh, for the ground. And so what I want to do here is I'm going to add a behavior to the object. And the behavior is this particular one is going to be a platform. So I'm going to say that the ground is a type which is called platform. And some of the things that we can do to this is we can change, it can be a jump through platform, a ladder or a platform. And in this case, I just want it to be a platform. So I'll press OK. Super. So now we have pretty well finished with the player in the ground. And I'll press play now. And um, we'll see what happens. And so the game is loading up here. And you'll see he lands on the ground. And if he moves right, he moves right. If he moves left, he moves left. And he can jump. Super. We're getting somewhere. A few more steps and uh, we'll have the basics of a platform uh, person who can walk on uh, one or more platforms.